hypothesis testing using a p-value. In this example, we have auto racing with pit stop where a racing vehicle stops for a new tires, fuel, repairs, and other mechanical adjustments. Well, it's super important. The efficiency of a pit crew that makes these adjustments can affect the outcome of the race. If they uh, complete these adju adjustments sooner, so that person, that racer can go back to the race and finish the race soon. A pit crew claims that, keyword for you, claim that the mean time, so mean or average time, is less than 13 seconds. So we have a lot of keywords here. The claim mean time less than 13 seconds. As a statistician, you're wondering about this claim. Is it a true claim? It's false. So how to investigate? You're going to select a random sample of 32 pit stop times. And then you're going to calculate the average of those pit stop times. And it happens to be 12.9 seconds. From past studies, the population standard deviation is 0.19 second. Is there enough evidence to support the claim at 0.01? This is your level of significance. And question says, please use p-value. First of all, you need to verify that sigma is given or not. Well, the question says, hey, sigma is 0.19 seconds. So your sigma or population standard deviation is given to you. Either the population is normally distributed or the sample size is more than or equals to 30. Well, the sample size in this question is 32 pit stop times. So it's more than 30. We don't have any problem here. Well, we can use Z test. The null hypothesis is mu or the average time is more than or equals to 13 and alternative hypothesis, which is the claim of that pit stop is less than 13 seconds. What's the level of significance? The level of significance in the question given to us, it's 0.01 or 1%. Now we need to move on to calculate the standardized test statistic, which is z equals to x bar minus mu divided by sigma over square root of n. x bar, or the average of your sample is 12.9 minus mu, which is population mean divided by sigma. Sigma is also given to us as 0.19 second divided by square root of n. n is the sample size. Remember that you had 32 pit stop times. If you do the calculation, the standardized test statistic is about negative 2.98. Now we need to find the p-value. Since we have a left tail test, remember that it says less than 13 seconds. So alternative hypothesis, if you go back to the first page, the alternative hypothesis is less than 13 seconds. So you have a left-tailed graph. The area to the left-hand side of negative 2.98 is 0 0.0014, which is a very small area. And since it's a left-tailed graph, left-tailed test, the p-value is the same as the area. Well, now since p-value is less than 1%, you're going to reject the null hypothesis. There is enough evidence at 1% level of significance to support the claim that the mean stop time is less than 13 seconds. In summary, if you look at the summary here, and we're following the steps, we calculated the standardized test statistic based off of that, and that we have a left-tailed graph we found p-value, which is the area on the left-hand side of negative 2.98, which is a very small area, and it's less than 1%.
So based off of p-value is less than 1%, we reject the null hypothesis, which is average is more than equals to 13. Second, when we reject the null, we support the alternative, which is the claim. So we support the claim that the average time is less than 13 seconds.